Hey everyone, today's video I'm going to show you how to empty your ostomy bag, clean it quick and easy without getting your clothes dirty, whether you're inside your own home or if you're outside in a public restroom. One, I don't kneel down on the floor at all. I don't, want my, I don't want to touch the dirty floor in any public restroom. So this is what I do. Take a little bit of toilet paper off. You're going to lift up the toilet seat and the cover part. And you're going to place it over the rim into the water part. Take off a little bit more and another little bit more. Just kind of bunch it up a little bit. Just fold it up a little bit. That's all. Now you're going to empty your Austin bag, just work all that food down, <laughs> all that out of the bag. You're going to empty it out. So you're going to squat down. As you see, I'm squatting down, I'm not kneeling, and no part of me is touching the toilet, or if you're in a public restroom, it's not going to touch the walls, you're not going to touch the toilet, anything to that nature. You keep your clothes clean. The reason you put a toilet paper in so it doesn't splash up, it absorbs it. And you pour it in. Now you take the one of the toilet paper and just going to wipe any excess off the top of your um, or your empty Austin bag. It's going to wipe off the excess liquid. You're going to get some water. If you're in a public restroom, you can have a bottle of water or a water in a cup. You pour it in. This you're going to use just to wash out your ostomy bag to get it all cleared out and make it feel better. When you empty it, you feel better. You clear, you're going to clear up all that other excess fecal matter that's left over when you empty your bag. Just kind of massage it around to get it out. And then you squat, squat back down and empty back out. Just kind of make, just jiggle it, just jiggle your bag a little, make everything come out. Then just going to use the other toilet paper that you, that you have, clean around the rim, go inside the bag and clean it out. Clean the corners of the bag also, so your bag is nice and clean. Now you're going to spray a lubricating deodorant to make it smell better, this will help you clean your bag also. It's lubricating deodorant that I use is by Empower Your Change, you can find it on their website. I'm going to leave the description down below in the link for further information. So you're just going to squirt, I usually squirt about, I would say about seven squirts in there. Um, if it's um, about seven squirts, I might do a little bit more than that if the bag is a little, if the bag been doing a lot of work. Um, I think that's good, right? That's good? Alright. And then you just fold it up, close your bag up. And you're going to massage it around. To get all that liquid in there to make everything smell bad. The bag going to feel better. It's clean. Cross your toilet, of course. Wash your hands. And um, that's about it. Quick and easy and you're on your way. If you're in a public restroom, this is the way I would do it all the time. Um, I have my ostomy bag since 2009. Uh, I don't want to kneel down in any restroom. I don't want to kneel down. I don't want to sit down in the toilet. But if you cannot, if you cannot squat, if you're an older person or you have knee problem, you cannot squat, then fine. You can do the sit down method. But I don't advise anybody to kneel down in any public restroom to empty your bag. You don't need to do that. And that's it, guys. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Take care.